Well, they say it's been what, what 15 years since they started that whole thing in, in, in Iraq. Um, and so I, I, I clearly remember where I was, was at the time that this war started. Uh, because uh, what, what was it, 9-11, uh, you know, 2001 or whatever it was, uh, I had, uh, I was at the, well, I was working down in the, in the, in the Wall Street area, you know, where the, where the towers went, went down. It's an amazing kind of, kind of thing. When I say amazing, I mean, uh, because I was working in that area, I was working for Democracy Now! at the time, uh, when I was, and I was also at WBI Radio, was at 120 Wall Street, so I, I had a radio program I was doing there, so I had to walk, you know, from, from there down in, 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 into uh, to the radio program at night. And that night was really, the, the, the girls were twisted, it was like strange, it was like a, a movie out of a movie set, it was this futuristic thing, all the girders went through, the, the dust was flying up, it was kind of amazing, you know. Uh, and then um, some stuff happened. I was in an accident with the sea, and I ended up uh, doing in Washington D.C. Uh, for 2000, basically 2002. And at the time I was there, I was in a sling, I had a, I had a neck brace for a year, and I was walking around like Frankenstein or something like that. And at the time, they had what's called a D.C. sniper. He was really in D.C. He was in Silver Spring, Maryland, which is where I was in Silver Spring. And so that was sort of traumatic. But I remember clearly about that time I was walking. I was walking around, it was daytime, just snipers in the daytime, but I was walking around. And I was talking to this veteran, because I was at the, the VA too, and I was this veteran, I said, because they were thinking about going into Iraq, and we sure about going to Iraq. I said, I don't know if they want to do that, because I just finished reading this book, The Saracen Play, by, um, by Frank Yerby, about uh, the, the Persian Empire, you know, the Iraq and all that. But they were the ones that, that, that did the whole assassin thing, but the Saracen Play was the assassins and all that sort of stuff. And I said, I don't know, this people kind of tough. I don't know if you really want to evade something like Iraq and stuff like that, because and that's where the Saracen Blade, that's where those, those assassin people come from, those, like, whatever they have it. Well, here we are 15 years later, and you know, nobody talks about it. We're still in Iraq, still in Afghanistan, and not only that, uh, then I had something come, come across my desk, uh, I'm just saying it that way, uh, about uh, the U.S. trying to have a military presence in, uh, in, in, in Ghana. You know, uh, because they discovered oil off the shore, so they're gonna they're gonna train the Ghana police. Whatever, I did a, a video on that one. I said this is not good. But since then, it seemed like the Ghana, at least the citizens of, of of Ghana, they beat that proposal back. We'll see how long that lasts. Because you know, when these things come in, they have long range things. If you find oil or any resource in your country, then the you know, United States is right there with their military to extract it out. But then something more terrible happened. And that's this whole thing about uh, about the government. I don't, this, I don't really do this the, the Donald thing, the Trump thing. I mean, this is the, the whole government thing. They're still in this fossil fuel thing, and they, they can't get ahead of the care. Anyway, they want to try to start with this whole Syria thing. They want to try to start a war with, with, with Russia for some strange reason, which is kind of stupid because, you know, if you start a war with Russia, you really just might as well say you start a war with China and a bunch of other places. You know what I mean? I don't know why they're not thinking about this. I think the United States just think that military can get do anything. When, when, you, when you realize the United States has not really won a war, they've been scrimmages for the war at all. At all. They have not won. They attached themselves to some other war efforts. They came out looking rosy, whatever have you. They say no, they, they have not won a war. And, and when they're mired in, they keep on being mired in. It's a big, 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 big problem with the United States and their whole mentality about they think that the military can do everything. Especially when you have these things where the money is not is worthless, you know, it's like the Roman Empire. Money is, is money is worthless, they're gonna be able to pay soldiers, a whole bunch of other things that'll be happening. So they think they're gonna do the mercenary thing, you know, with the black one, whatever they whatever Eric Prince is calling his his group these days. But that's not gonna work either. So what am I saying? There is a real fear of war. And the fear was because for some reason these forces, they just think that they, they, they control the minerals and they control whatever, that they can have their way. But it ain't going to happen that way. So I just, I just had to get this off my chest, this whole, the whole thing of war, because it's a fearful thing. But uh, I don't think it's going to work out the way it's going to work out, because it's uh, the whole, I, I call it the, the Russia-China thing, you know, versus you, no, and France and, 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 and whatever. Israel and, and, and uh, uh, Great Britain, these, 
they are they are minor players in this thing because you know remember the United the Russia still has this thing with Russia, China, India, uh, Brazil, South Africa. You know this, things are being realigned. China has this whole thing with the with, with, with the, the new Silk Road where they're going going into Europe, but also they have this whole thing with the whole uh, Asian thing. So all this whole stuff that people are blabbing about war. Uh, Trump and them might, might want to start a war, or they might think they're starting a war, but it's just not going to work out the way they think it's going to work out. That's just an opinion from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.